everybody, JCB here at The Optimus, and you're watching The Optimus YouTube channel. So why am I standing way down here? What is here? Right now we're actually in a film studio that I kind of set up behind my actual classroom. Basically at the moment I'm stuck at work while I'm waiting for my wife to finish up her duties. Um, and I'm basically all caught up, so I thought, now's a good time to film some footage with a security camera. My classroom is actually just in the door and across the hall. Uh, so it's not too far away, but I can't be in two places at once. And I often have film students making films in the back studio while I'm in here teaching the class. And so I decided I really need a way to be able to watch them easily without having to worry about uh, anybody getting into trouble in either room, really. So I would really like to be able to stay in here with the majority of my students while I have like a handful of students in there making a project together as a group. And that's why today I'm trying out the Sense8 light camera. This is a 1080p security camera with 140 degree field of view and two way audio, as well as uh, customizable motion zones, smart alerts, all kinds of cool stuff. Looks like we have some instructions here, so that's pretty helpful. Uh, over here we have like a template for mounting it to the wall, which is cool. Uh, this is a power brick, which you'd expect, you know, pretty standard. This looks like it's an extension for that uh, cable, just in case your outlet's a little further away. And then here's some uh, mounting screws, obviously. This here is the camera itself, and I gotta say, as a Valve fan, this is giving me some GLaDOS vibes, and I dig it. I'm really liking this design. I brought my brother Kyle in to help me install it so I can actually film the installation process, and it's really, really easy. You basically just run the wire where you want it, bolt it to the wall, plug it in to a power source, and then hook up all your Wi-Fi via the app. It's really not hard, and uh, technically, this is supposed to be an outdoor camera, but I figured anything good enough to withstand the outdoors will work just fine indoors. And I'm glad to say I was I was right about that. Setting up the app was super easy. Within minutes, I had the camera up and running, and this is what the view looks like. So this is me filming the camera, while the camera films me, and I'm looking at me on the camera. This is really, really weird right now. Got some cool features like an alarm system. I can't even hear what my students are saying in this room. In fact, right now, you're watching a video I record with a camera pointing at my phone that's monitoring the feed from this camera. Yeah. And I can even talk to the kids in the room from anywhere I have my phone. And there's this really cool feature where you can set up uh, custom motion zones that allow you to basically draw a box around an area where you think movement would come from. Like for instance, I'm drawing the box around the only door to this room. So that if the camera notices that door opens, it'll begin recording and you won't have to worry about motion happening around that area. Like if there happened to be, I don't know, a fly buzzing around the camera. One thing I was very surprised to see was that they don't require you to pay for a special storage service. You can use any service you want, including Google Drive. Being a teacher, I actually have unlimited Google Drive storage access, which makes using a camera like this with Google Drive a no-brainer. And the infrared cameras surprisingly do a great job capturing a lot of detail in the dark. Right now, we are actually in the room with the camera. If you look real carefully, you can see a light right there. That's the light of the camera. But if you bring my phone into view, you can see we're standing right there. It's actually uh, pretty crazy how well this night mode works. And obviously you can use the app to go back and look at old recordings that have been archived on your Google Drive, and it'll play them right there from the app. Now, I'm sure I don't yet know everything there is to know about this camera, but from what I have figured out, uh, the one feature I wish it had, and maybe it is somewhere in there that I just can't find, but the one feature I wish it had that I can't seem to figure out how to do is be able to monitor the surveillance camera from a computer. Being able to use my phone is great and all, but it'd be really nice if I could just have the feed up all the time on my computer monitor and not have to worry about, uh, you know, pulling my phone out and checking it constantly. And maybe that's a feature that's coming, and like I said, maybe it's a feature that already exists and I'm just too dumb to know how to turn it on. Uh, if that's the case, let me know in the comments down below. Needless to say, this camera does a great job of letting me be in two places at once, essentially. I could be in my classroom, helping my students get ready for the day, while my other kids are in the back, setting up the TV studio for the daily announcements. It's been a huge help and works wonders. I can just keep my phone on my desk and watch it. Although, as I said, it'd be even better if I could watch it on a big computer monitor. Anyway, 
This thing's fantastic. I can even set it up to send me a notification or send me a notification and set off the alarm if somebody enters that room while I'm off campus, which is super helpful. So I'm definitely happy with this little security camera. It is definitely worth every penny, even without that one feature that I really wish I had. And again, maybe it does have, and I'm just too dumb to figure out how to use it. Uh, but anyway, definitely worth the cost. I'm so glad I got a chance to review it. Uh, as always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure you like, comment, and subscribe as I release new videos every now and again. So until next time, keep being awesome. Tweaking it here and there before they finally switch it out. So me and Mike just had an amazing idea for Universal Studios. They should do a Hogsmeade maze where it's been like taken over by Dementors and they can put like little sensors in the costumes so the kids with the wands can like cast them away with their wands. I think it'd be great. It should be easy for them to do. Get on it, Universal. Next year. <laughs>